Hey guys, so I'm here to do another very easy dinner recipe for you guys. And of course it's going to be my crock pot because I'm just cooking everything in the crock pot now. So yes, very easy recipe that I have found on Pinterest that I want to share with you guys. I made it last week and we absolutely loved it. So I want to try it out first and then share it with you guys. It is called cheese and sausage tornellini in the crock pot. So you will need some ground Italian sausage and we just got the mild kind, but you can get the hotter kind if you like it a little bit more spicy. And then some tortellini. We just got the three cheese tortellini and you will need, where is it? 20 ounces. This makes a lot of tortellini. But if you want to, you can cut this recipe in half. Two cans of diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano. Like I said, if you wanna cut this recipe in half, you will only need one. Then eight ounces of cream cheese and then 32 ounces of chicken broth. And we just have the fat-free chicken broth as well as one third less fat of the cream cheese. All right, to get started, we are gonna first ground our Italian sausage and then pretty much just throw everything else in. I'm not even kidding you. This recipe is so, so easy. is browning you can just go ahead and add your tortellini and I don't know why I haven't used these crock pot liners before but they are seriously genius because it saves you so much oops one more it saves you so so much mess so I just found these at Target and they're like two dollars and genius 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 so if you like to make crock pot meals like me definitely get a liner so and now we're just gonna wait for this to brown is nice and brown you can just go ahead and add that to the crock pot and then take your two cans of diced tomatoes and you are gonna leave all the liquid in there because it's going to really really soak up in the tortellini and make it really really soft so just add both cans and then all of your chicken broth like I said it's gonna really, really soak up in the tortellini. And you wanna make sure your tortellini's all covered up. All right, and then take your cream cheese and you're just gonna wanna crumble it in the crock pot. That way it will melt a lot faster. So go ahead and do that. in there just want to make sure you mix it up together evenly and this is going to cook for four hours well total of four and a half hours but you're gonna just put it on low for four hours but the last 30 minutes you'll cook it without the lid on that way the cream cheese will thicken up and it'll get really really thick and delicious so I'm just gonna stir it up some more and then put the lid on and cook it for four hours After it, the tortellini has been, Aria, she just turned the light on. All right, so after your tortellini has been, Aria, no, keep it on, keep it on, okay? Aria is being a booger. Ah. All, right. All right, so after your tortellini has been cooking for four hours, you're gonna go ahead and take the lid off. Oh, it's hot! And you're going to just leave it open for 30 minutes so it can thicken up a lot more. I don't know why or how it thickens up, but I'm just gonna follow what the recipe says and um, just let it cook for 30 minutes. 